guys i hope you're having a great day so in this video i'm going to be using some of those dollar tree peel and stick tiles my store recently got them in they have a small section dedicated to them they have a lot of different designs to choose from i picked out two designs but i'm working on three different ideas so that's what i'm sharing in this video let's get started So here is the first peel and stick tile that I'm going to be using. I really liked the color and the design of this one. I just thought it would make a really pretty piece of wall art. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this one. And I found a sign and I also got this at Dollar Tree. It doesn't have glass in it. It just has kind of a papery texture to it. So I'm just going to stick it inside this frame and we'll see how that looks. I think I'm gonna have to pick up another one of these wall tiles if they still have this design so that I can make another one and have a set of two hanging on the wall. I just think that is really pretty. Definitely more high end looking than around 250, which is what this cost. So it's actually the next day and I went in the store and picked up this one. I also picked up another one of the blue, but I thought it would be fun to kind of mix and match. And I thought this one went really nicely with the one that I used before. So I am gonna use this one on another one of these signs and hang them together. The next tile I'm going to be using is this one that's made to look like that vintage tin that sometimes you see on ceilings or backsplashes. I think this is just really pretty except it does have a bit of a plastic look to it. So I'm going to mess with that a little bit, try to give it a more vintage or worn or rustic look and then we will use it in a project. And I'm just going over it lightly with some white acrylic paint and a sponge brush. I'm trying to mostly get the raised areas and just brush on a light coat just to give it a little bit more dimension and a little bit more of a vintage or worn look to it. And I'm gonna use the same painting technique on two more of those same tiles. I actually purchased three of them because I have another project in mind for these as well. So 
here's a look at how the tiles look up close when they are new and then here's the difference a little bit of white paint can make and I'm really liking how they look. So the first tile that I painted is dry so I'm going to go ahead and work on that project and I want to frame it so I am going to remove the paper insert and use as my guide to cut out my tile, get it framed up and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Now I'm trying to decide which way I want to display it, if I want it to be vertical or horizontal. I think I'm going to go with horizontal. And the next thing I'm going to do is add this letter H. Our last name starts with H and so I think that would be pretty in the center of this frame so I'm going to do that next. And I just picked up this letter H at Walmart in the craft section. I think it was around a dollar. And I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue to attach it in place. Now I could certainly leave it like this. I really like the simplistic look that it has and I think it's really pretty. But I think I might embellish it just a little bit with some paper flowers. These were from Michaels in the scrapbooking section and I just think they have a really pretty look to them. A little bit on the vintage side so I think I'm going to see what would look good on here and might add a few of these. I think I'm going to mess around with it a little bit and see what I like. So I have the flowers where I want them on my frame so I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to secure them in place and this project will be done and I think it's turned out so pretty.
Last project I'm going to be working on with the peel and stick tiles in this video is dressing up this cabinet in my daughter's bathroom. I used two of the 12 by 12 tiles. I just cut one down to size to fit on each side and then put one full one in the center. And I think it really did dress it up and gave it a fun new look. I think these peel and stick tiles are a lot of fun. There's so many different ways you can use them and I would love to know in the comments how you're using them around your home. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and please comment to let me know which project was your favorite. I hope you have a wonderful blessed day and thanks for watching.